So you have a Revit model and you're ready to insert it into ArcGIS Pro. Now, one thing I would check is the file size. If you haven't optimized it yet, I would suggest you watch part one of this two-part tutorial where I show how to get the model ready so it's easily read by ArcGIS Pro. But what if you don't optimize it? Well, you'd be staring at this for quite a while. Hi everyone, Alberto here with BIM Lounge. And in this video, I'll show you how to insert a Revit model that's been optimized and geo-referenced into ArcGIS Pro. Now that you've seen how to optimize your Revit file and you got some background on all the applications from part one, we're ready to jump right into ArcGIS Pro. Now, once we're in ArcGIS Pro, we wanna create a new local scene. But before we do that, let's create a folder and place the Revit model in it. In my case, I created this folder and now we're ready to create a new local scene. See, the project location is that exact folder and I'm going to call this same Revit to Pro. And I'd like to work in the same folder, so I'm not going to create a new folder within the project. Notice that a default coordinate system and projection are assigned. What we really want to do is assign our own coordinate system, the same coordinate system that we used within the Revit file, which is basically the coordinate system that you got from your civil engineer or your surveyor. So under scene, right click, properties, and under coordinate system, you see that WGS84 is the default that is assigned. You can search for your coordinate system or browse it. In my case, I have it saved under favorites, California State Plane 6, and OK. And notice that the projection has been updated. Now the next thing you want to do is head over to catalog and you see that under folders let's find the Revit file and drag it into the scene. Now let's go ahead and rename this scene. If we double click on the scene here I'd like to call it scene 1. Now you see the sample file is now in this scene. What we want to do is assign the same coordinate system to the Revit file as the overall scene. Now to do that we can head over to Manage, Define Projection, and under Geo Processing, you see that the coordinate system is unknown. Well let's go ahead and assign the same coordinate system as the overall scene and hit run. Now once the process is complete we can check the sample project under contents and turn on all the disciplines. And at that point, you see that the project base point is visible. If we click on sample, zoom to layer, now you see that the model is in the right location, but the height is definitely stretched out. Now, if you're experiencing this issue, there's one extra step that we can take to avoid this, which is creating a new scene and bringing in the Revit model into that scene. Under Insert, New Map, you select New Local Scene, and now we want to call this Scene 2.
Now again, the coordinate system and the projection are still the default in this new scene. So we want to repeat what we did for, th for the first scene and assign the same coordinate system. Now the projection updated. We go under catalog and we drag and drop the Revit model again. Again, let's turn on all the disciplines. And now we notice that the model has the right proportions, even as far as the height. Now what changed? When we first brought in the model, we didn't have a projection file associated with the Revit file. But the second time, with scene 2, the file was associated, so it came in in the correct place. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below, and also let me know how you would use this process, what kind of applications you'd use it for. If you found this solution useful, please consider subscribing and liking this video so more people can find it. Now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.